shops. The inhabitants of the cities want to go shopping and to work. Well, they might not necessarily want to go to work, but they certainly need someone to get them there. Ensure happy commuters on local and long distance transport. In this tutorial, you will be transporting your first passengers by bus and train. All right, welcome to Transport Fever. I'm the Spear. And today we're going to learn about passenger transport. This is tutorial number two. These are some oddly shaped passengers. I They have the strangest shoulders and upper bodies and they all, well, several of them seem to look quite similar. They really should have picked a better picture than this for uh, <laughs> to use as their uh, screen for passenger transport. But oh well, what are you going to do? All right, so in this one, we're going to we're going to build a bus route and a train route and move people around, hopefully, if they want to take our buses and our trains. Prove that you know a thing or two about transportation and take your passengers home to work or shopping. All right, let's do it. A bus service is all fine and dandy, but before the bus sets off, it'll need to know where it's going. Bus lines are often used for passenger transport within a city. A few steps are necessary to set up such a line. All right, we need a bus line. Bus. Passengers. I'm not really sure what the, why this is flashing red here. Apparently red is where we're supposed to build our first bus stop. All right. You know, the thing with this is a lot of times these instructions. Now I don't know why that passenger is lighting in red. A lot of times these instructions are not very clear, I must admit. The first step has been oh, there completed. we go. We've got a now couple bus stops. Now we make sure that something actually stops at the bus stop. To do this, connect the two stops with a line. Click on the line manager in the menu below and then okay. select new line. The two stops can now be assigned to the line by clicking on the bus stop icons. So here was the bus stop we built and down here at the very bottom is the line manager. New line. Uh, go from new road to Next, build Manor a depot. Road. Depots are needed to purchase vehicles. Select the road vehicle depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Bus depot, road depot, not a tram depot. Pick the right one. Rotate this around. That's well, never going to be exactly straight here, is it? It's weird. Almost there. Now you need to purchase a suitable vehicle. Click on the depot, select buy road vehicle, and buy a bus. This one looks like the best one, but it's much more expensive. But hey, what are you going to do? Let's buy a The bus one. driver is just raring to get started. So assign the bus to the line. Click on the line icon in the window that has just appeared and select the line you have just created. So here's the line icon. It looks like a little carboneer line. One. Very good. The bus is en route to the first stop, and the first residents have already heard about the new service. Passengers are now heading to the bus stop and are waiting for the bus to travel from their homes, to work, or to go shopping. Wait until the first passenger has traveled from the first stop to the second. Uh, one of the things people say about this is there are a lot of pop-up windows that you need to constantly close. And I guess this might actually be true. But I mean, once you, well, I mean, in the very beginning. I mean, I've only got these windows open because you just started the line. Where's this guy? Oh, there it is. It's up there. You know, once you've got the line going, you're not going to need to look at, have all these windows open. What's going on here?
Alright, this is the street with our first bus stop. Let's see if we pick up some passengers. And there are no passengers there. Well, it usually takes a while for passengers to to uh, to come to a station. Normally it has to run for a while. You have to go from one to the other to back again. And then passengers start coming on. So we'll just go ahead and uh, skip this task. But that's the idea of the bus line. Local transport is running splendidly. So let's turn our hand to commuter transport. For this purpose, construct a railroad line between the cities. Start by building train stations. Select the passenger station from the construction menu and place one in each of the colored areas. Ooh, that was fast. Ooh. All right, there's one in green. And we need one in red. Now that the local transit is working well, it's time to turn our attention to commuter travel to the next city. Let's lay some tracks. Select the track from the construction menu and connect the two train stations. So we have standard tracks and high speed tracks. They want standard. It automatically builds bridges for you. Check. Let's set up a line whose very name the will bring tears to the eyes of commuters. Tears of joy on Friday evenings and tears of sorrow on Monday mornings. Setting up a train line works exactly the same as setting up a bus line. Oh. Create a line and add the passenger train stations. New line. Green station. Schaffhausen. Red station. Innsbruck. Now you need a train to deploy on the line. Just like road vehicles, trains are purchased at a depot. However, a depot with a rail connection is required. Select the train depot from the construction menu and build it in the area highlighted in yellow. Time to purchase a train to swallow up all those commuters. <sighs> Click on the depot and select Buy Train and buy a locomotive with at least one passenger coach. All right, everything seems pretty straightforward here in the tutorial. Let's go with the Flying Scotsman. And a passenger coach, did they say? Yeah, build an engine and a passenger coach. Bye. Let the journey begin. Assign the train to the line. To do so, click on the line icon in the window that has just appeared and select the line you have just created. All right, so it didn't tell me to build tracks from the depot to the line. So... That was weird. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I have no idea if that's, I'm too far out really to. Can I zoom in while I'm, oops. Tracks, build tracks. It won't let me build tracks. When I'm zoomed in that far, it won't let me build tracks? That's weird. I want to zoom in so I can see where I'm going here. All right. Hopefully that's all right. We'll zoom in before we give it the okay. Looks good. Looks good. There we go. Now this train... Set line, line two. The commuters are coming. They're crowding on the platform and are waiting eagerly for the train to take them to the other city. Let's take a look at this train. The Flying Scotsman. So we did buses. It looks like we've done trains. The cold looks a little two-dimensional. Now these all have electricity over the over the rails. When you're building them you can build them with electricity or without a cantonary. And 
and it's probably a little less expensive not to have it. But later on, we might get electric train, so you know you don't want to have to add that later. So that's why it's by default it's on the train. Yeah. So it, the train automatically knows where to go. Who wants to follow over this bridge? It's still got zero passengers. And again, just like the buses, you know, you gotta let it run a while to attract people coming and going. This is a good high speed train. Nice and fast. You see, there's no passengers waiting here either. But sooner or later there will be. Actually, I guess the passengers can't come here. We don't have a bus here. Passengers might take the city bus to the train station and then go over to the other city. <laughs> and the other train. Alright, so that's good. So we got buses and trains. I did it. Well, you did it. We both did it. Finished passenger transport. There and back again. And that's uh, tutorial number two for Transport Fever. Pretty much all there is to it. Build stations. Get a vehicle and set them from station to station. Buses, trains. Well, maybe we'll have planes and other things. But that'll be next time. Thanks for watching this quick Transport Fever tutorial. I'm Spear, and thanks for coming back.